now taking a pivot over to weather, taking a look at the Holland Pier right now. Very calm and quiet. Lots of people out there, though, uh, enjoying the pier. We also have a couple people who are swimming out in that water as well. A great day to hit the beach. The UV index today rose to 8 at about 2 o'clock, and it's slowly starting to drop back down, but it will once again be pretty high tomorrow with plenty of sunshine expected. So if you're thinking about heading out to the lakeshore tomorrow, make sure to bring along uh, the sunscreen, but also keep a couple of other things in mind. We do have a high uh, beach hazard risk among most of our lakeshore, mainly from Muskegon all the way to South Haven. Now this will cause some very high waves, which could also initiate a rip current risk, as well as waves anywhere between two to four feet, mainly in the afternoon to evening hours. And that's mainly because we've got some strong winds moving in from the north northwest at about 15 to 25 miles an hour. So as that happens, that'll actually bring us the potential for some of those very high waves, which of course create a dangerous Lake Michigan. So bring along some water, make sure to hydrate, make sure to lather on the sunscreen, and try to avoid hopping in the water. When it comes to our satellite and radar currently, we're seeing a little bit of cloud cover off to the north, a couple of some stray showers passing on through. We're going to see overall uh, some of these start to dip down a little bit lower, bringing us a quick shower or two for this evening. But other than that, mainly quiet and mainly dry. We're going to see temperatures that are still sitting mainly in those 80s, a little bit warmer for those communities off to the south. Kalamazoo sitting at 86 and Battle Creek at 85. Plenty of sunshine otherwise, though, with a couple of spots that have some cloud cover. When it comes to our dew points, these are a little bit on the higher end, with many of us sitting in those 60s to 70s. So it will feel a little sticky out there. The good news is these are set to drop as we head into the rest of the weekend. So the good news is we won't feel so muggy as we make our way uh, by Friday and Saturday. Now, winds are pushing in from the west at about 5 to 15 miles an hour. Individual gusts have popped all the way into the teens for our northern communities, mainly associated with some of those rain showers off to the north, but a lot more calm off to the south with those winds uh, only reaching about 5 miles an hour. Future track shows us that some of these rain showers will start to pop a little bit further south. As they do, they could bring a quick shower or sprinkle across the region over the next couple of hours. But as we make our way into Friday, that's where we're going to start to see a lot of this cloud cover really shift off to the south, bringing us some clearer skies as we make our way into Friday. Friday evening, that's when we'll see a little bit of cloud cover start to move on through. Saturday, also another pretty sunny day, couple passing clouds, but otherwise mainly clear skies. Once we reach Sunday evening, that's where things get interesting. We do have a potential for some rain showers and even potentially some thunderstorms, but a 60% chance. Now that rain will stick around and it'll stick around and be heavy in some portions of the viewing area, bumping all the way to an 80% chance of rain for Monday. That's where we'll see the bulk of rain potentially in some spots reach two to four inches. So something to try to plan ahead for Tuesday. A lot of those rain showers starting to fizzle out. Now when it comes to our severe outlook for uh, Sunday, this is a different outlook than what we tend to see. Most of the time we're on that scale of one to five because we're still a little bit further out. We can only really get a 15 percentage uh, wise idea of just how much. So that's what we're thinking when it comes to severe weather tonight. Temperatures fall to those 60s tomorrow. We're looking at temperatures mainly in those middle 80s. When it comes to the next couple of days, that's when we're really going to start to see those temperatures staying pretty close to what we tend to see on average. It does look like we are again going to see a pretty sunny weekend ahead up until about Sunday. Widespread rain showers for Monday, dipping our temperatures into the 70s and then ultimately bringing us partly cloudy skies as we enter the middle to end of next week. All right.